Welcome to the next episode of the Dark Web Deacon. Before we begin, be sure to smash that subscribe button, click the bell to turn on notifications, and check out the latest items in the Dark Web Deacon merch store. There is a link in the video description below, and become a true Dark Web enthusiast. New videos are published every Monday and Thursday. With more and more applications and services asking you to use your face for identity verification, you might wonder if facial recognition is something you can trust. After all, you can always change a password if it's exposed in a data breach, but you can't exactly get a new face. If you bought a smartphone in the past few years, you're probably already familiar with the concept of facial recognition. This new form of biometrics uses parameters such as the shape of your face, eye socket depth, eye distance, nose width to generate a face print as a password instead of a fingerprint or typing in a passcode. Apple, for example, completely moved away from fingerprint scanning to a technology they call Face ID with its iPhone models. According to the tech giant, there's a 1 in 50,000 chance someone else could open your phone with their fingerprint. But those chances dwindle to 1 in 1 million with its facial recognition technology. The technology digitizes the information about the contours and details of your face. Face recognition decides if a face matches up with what's in its database by solving for the API problem. Age, pose, illumination, and emotions. If all these match up enough, then authentication is granted. So, if you had a big beard when you initially set it up, then go clean shaven, it most likely won't work or if you're using drastically different lighting, or if you do something more extreme like some obvious plastic surgery. What the is that? Uh, it's a monster! Kill it! Kill it! Okay, let's get back to the tech. It's not just phones that use facial recognition technology. Facebook and Google, for example, use it when you upload a photo with other people. Their algorithms, We'll look at the people in the photo and determine whether or not to tag them. So is facial recognition safe? First off, the data about your face is stored on your phone and not sent back to Apple according to them. Other facial recognition technology will depend on who and how they are implementing it. Even if someone were able to get hold of the digital data related to your face, Unlike a password, it's not like they can just plug it into another website or an app to gain access to it. Although facial recognition can provide more security than a simple passcode or a fingerprint scanner, it does have some weaknesses. For starters, not all applications are created equally. Apple, for instance, creates a 3D map of your face using an infrared camera, dot projector, and flood illuminator as the technical specs. This system effectively foils those who try to use a 2D picture of you to gain access to your phone and private accounts. On the other hand, a consumer protection organization in the Netherlands tested 100 different smartphone models and found that 42 of them were unlocked with a good photo of the user. So passwords or face print. Even in its best forms, facial recognition technology can be fooled and hacked. You may opt to turn off facial recognition entirely and rely on passcodes and or passwords, which can help you maintain privacy and provide good security still. As of now, face print does provide a high level of security. With the possibility of an erosion of future privacy, if your face print is something that in the future could be shared or sold to third parties or governments, which could in turn use the face print data for nefarious or ethically ambiguous situations. As the heartbeat of authoritarianism beats faster and stronger around the world, this is a real concern. As of right now, I am only using facial recognition for my smartphone and nowhere else in my life. But you will have to decide what is right for you. Thanks for watching, and as always, please like, subscribe, and provide comments and turn on notifications by clicking the bell in order to check out future videos published twice a week.